Hi and welcome to the 2017-2018 hockey season. I hope you had a wonderful summer. I hope you had time with your family, with your friends. I hope you participated in other sports and activities and had the time of your life. There are a number of highlights coming up this season, one of which is the World Girls Hockey Weekend, October 6th to 8th. This will be a fantastic event and it takes place across the country. Really, it doesn't have to just be on the ice. It could be any manner by which you participate in hockey, be it off ice, be it in seminars, be it in coaching clinics, being playing on the ice, off the ice, whatever the case may be. But it'll be a fantastic weekend. That's one highlight. What I'd really like to talk to you about today, though, is the initiation program. The initiation program is 35 years old, and it's been used across the country, uh, for the most part, um, coast to coast to coast. But having said that, it has been optional. We've decided this year, Hockey Canada and the branches across the country, to mandate the IP. And there's a reason for that. It's about consistency. It's about making sure your first experience with hockey is something that you'll embrace for a lifetime and enjoy. It's, I guess, premise is based on skill development and the acquisition and age-appropriate skill development. With the initiation program, as a parent or an adult showing up to the rink to watch this, what you'll see is the division of the ice surface whether it's just by the lines themselves or the opportunity to use physical barriers that provide an opportunity to play cross-ice hockey. Now those cross-ice games might be just that. They could be small space games within one of the circles. They could be little larger space games in terms of being one quarter of that end zone if you will. Uh, the idea behind it is to improve the opportunity for puck touches, uh, to improve the opportunity to develop agility and skating skills in general, to improve the opportunity to move the puck and receive the puck in smaller spaces. It's different. It's not full ice hockey, but it is conducive to the maturation of the athlete playing. Keep in mind, what we're trying to do here is build on the fundamental skills to play hockey for a lifetime. When you come into the rink as an adult and you watch this cross ice hockey, you'll see kids active. You'll see the, the arena, the ice surface bubbling. You'll see upwards of 60 players on the ice, skating as opposed to 20 full ice. The idea here is not to suggest for a second that full ice hockey is wrong, it's just most appropriate at a particular time in a child's life. The whole idea behind the initiation program and its four phases and eight lesson plans per phase is to build upon each other so that the five and six year olds are armed with the type of skill that allow them to move into the seven and eight year olds, if you will, and enjoy the game even further. And the seven and eight year olds move into the nine and 10 year olds, if you will, and enjoy the game even further. To try to fast track athletes to the point where by what we watch on TV in professional hockey has to live within the five and six year old in my mind isn't realistic. And that's the philosophy behind the initiation program. Let them learn, enjoy the game, have fun understanding the fundamentals, have fun getting outside their comfort zone, but have specific drills that allow them to understand the value of skating skills, to understand the value of the ABCs. I think it's important to recognize that as we build the five and six year olds base, we improve the base for the seven and eight year olds. And as we build the base for the seven and eight year olds, we improve the base for the nine and 10 year olds. And as we do that, we become more holistic in developing the complete player so that hockey is enjoyed through the IP for a lifetime. We're not here to build the next National Hockey League superstar. We are here to make sure that through hockey, we build a fantastic citizenship that continues to represent Canada through the sport of hockey. How do we measure success? By the smile on kids' faces. So enjoy the experience of making the game meaningful for all players, for all participants, and making sense of why we should play. It's the greatest game in the world.